Welcome to tutorial number 161. In this tutorial, we will talk about the next method in bin allowance, the bin tables. The bin tables include the values and according to the material and thickness, you can calculate the bindings. So in this tutorial, we will see how to create new bin tables and locate the already existed SOLIDWORKS tables and if needed to modify and how to apply it on cheap metal parts. So to insert sheet metal bin table, so you go to insert sheet metal and down there and there you will find bin table and there are two ways either to use an existed file which we will see or create a new table a better way is to create a new table based on the saved tables inside SOLIDWORKS directory so to find the sheet metal bin tables in SOLIDWORKS go to the program files the SOLIDWORKS directory SOLIDWORKS core SOLIDWORKS and language English and sheet metal bin tables and here you will see samples there is a PTL file or a text file that is a sample can be edited so you can create a copy from that and edit it and also there are some samples that already to be filled so it's recommended before filling this making a copy for example here you have a copy and then fill the values if you have them so you can fill the table over there and in SOLIDWORKS also there are some bin tables which are really filling but they are not a lot that's why we will just show you the bin tables and in the next tutorial we will show you how to use the gauge tables so we'll through this course we will be using the those two methods the k factor or the gauge tables and here you have table one it is in inches and also there is the metric with allowance and if you see over there it, it is for the 90 degrees bends We will go back to the file and try to see how to implement the bin table. So let's just edit the sketch over there and make it 90 degrees. Okay. Rebuild. And then go to the sheet meter features. And we saw in the previous tutorial that we calculated the how we calculated the key factor and now let's see the other method bin table so once you pick the bin table it will ask you to browse the place for your bin table which we already saw before so you can again go to, to the same folder bin table and if you okay you remember in that for in that folder there were just empty tables that they are here sample and here is the copy which we made if you click okay you will get warning because it is an empty table so it, it couldn't calculate anything so let's again go to that table override then table and browse 
the filled metric table. In allowance, and here is the table which we already saw. Click in there, click OK. And now you calculated the bin by the bin table. 